a number of questions have been thrown at us recently. What is your purpose? Who is behind you? Are you qualified? I would like to say, as a descendant of the wisest and most civilized people in antiquity, the black people, our mission and our Bible is clear. Hamid Heburu ethics mission or purpose is to raise from the dead the original African identity in every melaninated carbon a black person walking on the earth uh, today, Merhaba, to connect the spirit and the soul. How can we accomplish this mission? Is it feasible? By an evangelistic missionary tactic using the one and only African Bible for those trapped by the Jesus idol and many made foreign ideologies, it is possible. It's a pleasure today to see and witness millions waking up and walking tall as they see the proof of the fallacious nature of the Jesus heresy. The three creeds and many other creeds were man made that created this idol. The Apostles' Creed, which was written in response to the Gnostics' denial of Jesus, was adopted by Christianity in the second century as a baptismal formula which is still being used today. The Nicene Creed voted, actually elected, campaigned that Jesus is divine and Jesus is God. And the Athanasian Creed built the so-called Trinitarian doctrine. So these are human and man-made doctrines in rejecting and throwing away this image and these doctrines for anyone. What is the authentic African Bible? Is it the Torah, the Tanakh, the New Testament? What about the Quran, the Gita? It is, are these or one of these the authentic African Bible? Hamiti Hebrew Ethics Mission is to offer authentic literature and the sources for the awakened and awakening giants so that they can have somewhere to drink from in this, we have accomplished a feat comparable to very few. But let us settle once and for all if the Bible or the Quran is that African a book. The first issue is that the Nicene Creed is the one that gave Jesus Christ his birth. It, Jesus, therefore, is not God, is not divine, is a man-made concept, clear and straightforward. The Quran comes and supports that status. Supports even Mary that she was a virgin based on an erroneous verse that has been mistranslated across the edges. Isaiah 7 14. The word used Alma here should be Betula. Alma means a young woman of marriageable age, not a virgin. This is known by scholars and everybody. So Jesus had no virgin birth. Full stop. End of story. Great resources for all available from Amazon. We offer here as a meeting Hebrew ethics, one of our mission to offer incredible resources for anyone who is daring to research and daring to disprove many, many facts. Incredible book has just been released and is on Amazon today. In that book, we list over 500 books. This has never been done before. There is no other resource you can find on anywhere dealing with proper, true, authentic African culture, which lists these authors, over 100 authors with over 500 titles. This book is all now yours. Since they hide it in books, we say find it in books. Is there an effective spiritual science? Yes, it's based on totems. Therefore, you need, there are no totemless Africans book. You also need the book, the creator or a God to study the philosophical explanation of what is God and who is the creator. They are completely two different entities. One is awesome, eternal, and comes from beyond time. The other one was born and created by men, born recently by a virgin, and so forth, created by human beings. The Creator of God. Out now. Amazon.com. Written by your own. LMD Domizobo. Get now.
We also here at Hamid Ibn Ethics have many authentic papers crafted and written by scholars of excellence, professors and doctors in many fields dealing with health, true history, the virus that is attacking black people with melanin and the identity restoration agenda that we are on. Shoot us an email at join at maharifado.com or at lmtumisulu at gmail for us to connect you with these papers and with these resources. You need these resources. This is our mission as Hamiti Hiburu Ethics. Now we want to look at the cardinal differentiation of those that have walked from Christianity to Hebrewism, Judaism, and are in Judaism and they are looking up and out and are finding other information and other resources. Acts 7, 20 to 29. 22 says, And Moses was learned in all the wisdom of the Egyptians and was mighty in words and deeds. Here is the question. Where did you find on this YouTube? If Moses was learned in all the wisdom of the Egyptians, what did he learn? First and foremost, remember this picture. Every time you look at ancient African artifacts, Hamitic artifacts, they are reworking our ancient African work to fit their Euro-Arab image. Just remember this picture. Therefore, dismiss all who bring so-called evidence, DNA or anything that conflicts with the truth that ancient Egyptians, ancient Ethiopians, ancient Hebrews, ancient Semites were black people. Full stop. Don't even entertain them for one inch. Hamiti Hebrew ethics, therefore, is restoring the hieroglyphic based truth that Moses Musheche learned, which is today practiced as Bantu traditional religion or African traditional religion. That's the authentic wisdom that Moses learned and was mighty in words and deeds. That's our mission. That's answering the question, what is your missing? Who is behind you? Many scholars, thousands of scholars, researchers, and entrepreneurs. Are you qualified? Judge for yourself. The brilliant researcher, scientist, working with Maarifa Development Organization, East Africa, gives us academic tools and missiles and weapons to win in any academic field because we are based on the truth. We are going to elaborate about that. He elaborates on totems okay i think i have managed to interpret the meaning of a totem our ancestors were very advanced in logic a totem is an object that represents your physical name and identity it is spiritual or mental so if destroyed it can be replaced or just represented differently like your written name this is exactly what Hamiti Hebrew Ethics has been teaching for the last four years. The totem is your self-reflection and an object you can use to reflect on yourself in existence or other objects, even a universal mathematical measure. The totem is separated from you by light. The distance between you and it is light, a line, which is also sense of touch, sense of hearing, the totem was used to teach Mahati logic. The totem connects you and your ancestor. Connects you and others are equal. That you and other objects are in agreement with reality. That you and other objects are truth, order, respectful of each other, which is human conscience. Anyone with no human conscience is not human. The totem allows for concepts like tools, paper, machines, engineering. Since the totem can define another object, it is our connection to our ancestral line and to our first ancestor and the creator. We offer literature, lectures, and personal interactions to those who realize the power of totems and decide to wake up and assist in the mission. Connect us here at join at marifado.com today. What are your totems then? The authentic African Bible is you. If your totem is activated and continuously reactivated, if you are black, what's your totem? Christians and Jews have misunderstood completely the chapter of totems found in the Bible, Genesis 49. 
committee Hebrew ethics has restored that this is verified by using totemic activation which we use to scrap away the dross of man-made ignorance prejudice and the evil satanic schemes hiding our connection to the richest and most prominent civilization ever where moses went to learn the christian bible in Genesis 49 lists totems if you call yourself a christian a hebrew an israelite you are a bantu you are supposed to have a totem what is your totem do you have a totem all those totems which we find in the bible came from the original african bible which you laugh at as egyptian gods and saying egyptians worshiped many gods no it was totemic or it is totemic that's the bible laws based on mahati uh, a mere copy or and a mini school of the real here is the proof that has been given to you your church or your synagogue or your mosque will never show you this truth about totems ancient health and wealth tips because we are focused on what what made our ancestors the wisest people on earth ever we have been fortunate to have amongst us healers and spiritual innovators we know what to eat drink smoke and which exercises to engage to remain youthful to become smart awake and never again have issues of illness whether mental or otherwise we have many many videos teaching all these subjects and the testimonies are so inspiring we now know the work is indeed not ours but for soul happiness we are also engaged and we know we are engaged in spiritual warfare therefore we have got many resources here is one book cast to all uses its magic and benefits written by priest rabbi lm tumizulu which you can get from amazon on this uh, link we are also one of the organizations that is warning our political and entrepreneurs that china's mission into africa is pure and simple recolonization and eventually taking over the whole continent if you understand the package principle you will know that china wants to wipe out every black person in africa get this book by brother by mb the greatest secret of asia and discover what the chinese did there is no middle east is all africa all the oil all the riches all the that is africa which is yet to be liberated we are all bantus all of us if you have melanin if you are black if you live anywhere on earth and you are black and you've got melanin and you've got carbon you are a muntu you are a bantu therefore because you are a bantu we say tame the beast inside you control the reptilian complex and the limbic system tame that beast that's the teaching of the totems and that's the teaching of bantu so to the question why are you saying all these things we have supplied an answer to restore our originality based on the identity to our great ancestors via the awesome knowledge of totems to live today in superior health and wealth and avoid all religions that we received via the colonizing forces of christianity judaism and islam to thrive on true history and work in unity together if these are also your goals and you want to engage in a mission bigger healthier and profitable you are welcome send us an email to join at marifaldo.com or lmtumizulu at gmail.com hamiti hebrew ethics it's very nice to meet you we are on a winning uh, mission and we are winners marifaldo development organization hamiti hebrew ethics our mission is going to be accomplished thanks for your support bring more questions and this is a prestigious rabbi lm tumizulu thank you goodbye